I don't think I ever imagined myself in a dance scene. They saw me dancing basically doing promo. The whole point of it is to just give it a shot. You know what? I'm gonna give this CC a shot. And I'm Hi, my name is Yuan Chung. I'm a year two IS student. My name is Yash. I'm a year two business student. I am Sean Ong, and I'm a year two economics student. I'm Jensen. I'm a year two student from the School of Social Sciences, and I'm from SMU Caderas Latinas. Latinas. Caderas Latinas. Caderas Latinas. Caderas Latinas. And this is Say Less. Question one: Before Caderas, what kind of CC would I typically join? I was really a sports guy, like throughout my childhood I've played various sports from cricket, uh, football, basketball, hockey. My dad taught me all sorts of different sports when I was growing up. I never really even considered joining a performing arts. I don't think I ever imagined myself in a dance CCA at all. I never did dance before. I never thought of myself as a dancer. So when I came to SMU, my first thought was, gotta try windsurfing, dragon boating, and all that kind of crazy stuff. But as I was looking around, I slowly kind of caught on to like dance. If I'm being honest, I've always wanted to sort of dance. And when I went to Polytechnic, I decided to give something new a try. And that's where I got into performing arts. Why did I join Caderas? So for my freshman orientation camp, I had to do a mini dance clip that I had to send to them. It was very awkward. I looked like a fool. Rachel, this Caderas senior of mine, she, she gave me a DM saying how nice it looked and like how much potential I had. They saw me dancing basically doing FOMO. So they were like, you know, you should come give Kadaras a shot. And I just went for it, to be honest. I did not expect too much out of it. Uh, my orientation facilitator, Brandon, was actually part of Kadaras and invited me to try out the workshop, the Kadaras workshop. And honestly, it was really a ton of fun. Whilst I was doing it, I actually really enjoyed like the dance form and everything. Yeah, so I ended up exploring the, exploring the social media pages for uh, Kadaras and stuff. And I realized that they focused on partner work. They were doing a lot of tricks and stuff, and I was thinking to myself like, now I don't dance, but if I could end up learning something like that, that would be pretty cool. Because I enjoyed the process, what what I did through the workshops and stuff before joining Kaderas, I decided that Kaderas would be something good for me to try out. And from that point on, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna give this CC a shot, and I joined Kaderas, and I haven't looked back since. Question three. What's my parents' reactions to it? Actually, I didn't tell them at first, so it was kind of like in the background. Only when um, they started seeing me practicing dance moves, then they asked. I think when I first told my family that I was going to try a dance CCA, my parents were super shocked. They were honestly very shocked. Even though they were shocked, right, they were very supportive of me because they were like, oh, okay, trying out something new, they respected it. They liked me to try out new things. So they're actually quite supportive of me. Uh, joining salsa, but then at the same time, I'm quite shy to dance in front of my parents because I don't know, it's just so uh, awkward to dance in front of them. Question four What are some common misconceptions about dancing? I'll address the one that I think comes out the most often, and that is that um, guys who dance around they appear effeminate or they're not masculine. And I think that's completely false because to me, being a complete person is being able to sort of like swap between both. You're just like developing another part of yourself. That's how I see it. Doing those tricks like flipping a girl around, like throwing them up, catching them, that requires a lot of strength and like control. Like just to name a few like super hot guys I know, right? That like, well, I sweat when I see them, that kind. Brian! You got Wesley, you got, you got Nitish, Justin, Joshua, all this. The main common misconception that a lot of people have is that sometimes guys can't dance. Uh, because that's certainly what I thought of. Dance is something, it's, it's a lifelong skill. You can get better at it. And that's certainly what I found with Kaderas. When I came in, I honestly did not feel like a great dancer. You have a lot of great mentors to help you, you know, get better at dancing and get more confident at dancing. A very common thing I hear people say is that, oh, you only join Kaderas to dance with girls. I don't think any of the guys honestly join Kaderas just to dance with girls. Question five. How do I feel about the costumes and makeup part of Kaderas? So if y'all don't know, right? When we have big performances or choreos, right? We have to wear standardized uniforms and we have to, you know, for makeup to make ourselves look pretty. For a bit of context, I think one of the first costumes I wore was this completely black shirt with this huge V-line all the way to like just above like your belly button. So I found it okay. Like I didn't really feel like weirded out by it, but it was just something new. But at the same time, you know, uh, wearing it also gave me a lot of you know, just confidence in myself in general because uh, 
you know, I did something which I wouldn't usually wear. Once you get used to it, honestly, it really feels quite cool, you know? It's not feminine whatsoever, it honestly feels quite masculine because, you know, like, you show off your muscles and all, you do a few push-ups before you get in the costume, you're like, whoa, I look kind of big, you know? So yeah, honestly, the costume is quite fun. I have no problem wearing makeup. I love makeup. I mean, makeup is makeup is fine. It just it does make you look better. And guys, compared to the girls, don't wear that much makeup. We probably wear like a bit of eyeliner uh, and concealer if we wanted. Question six: What are some difficulties I faced and how did I adapt to it? Coming into a dance CC, a competitive dance CC with zero dance experience, obviously comes with its fair share of difficulties. For me, fitness wasn't one. The one that came up for me was actually inflexibility. At the start of every training session, we'll have this stretching session where someone will lead us to go through stretches. And so they will help us guys, maybe like we're doing a, trying to do a split and we can't, and it'll just help us to like push us down a little bit more to slowly increase our flexibility. When you're dancing, you need to dance to the music and I'm sometimes unable to catch the music which leads me to dancing at the wrong steps at the wrong time. Developing that sense of rhythm, that yeah, the ability to count in your head, honestly isn't very easy. Salsa, you, you kind of go one, two, three, five, six, seven. The four and eight are silent. When it comes to this kind of thing, it's all about repetition. You need to keep on listening to music. And it slowly kind of like um, seeps into you for the lack of a better word. But never fear because Kaderas has a very strong sense of family. So you can always ask any of your seniors for help and they will, they're more than willing to help you as long as you ask. How did I find out about Kaderas and what was the audition process like? I think the way I started exploring about Kaderas were through their Kaderas 101 workshops. We have them this year as well so if you're interested do sign up. It was through those lessons that I realised what dancing was like. The auditions process that was very nerve-wracking. Oh. <laughs> they taught us the steps and everything, what we were supposed to do. Then they also gave us a video to recap and look through, go through before coming into the auditions. And when it all came together, we just, I just did like the best I could to follow the move. So because I really wanted to learn how to dance, I gave it my all in terms of um, trying to understand what you're doing. Maybe you're like trying to style this way, like do your arm movement this way, all that kind of stuff. The whole point of it is to just give it a shot. They're not going to, oh, you made a mistake, all right, you're out. Because they are, they're very understanding that a lot of guys don't have dance experience. So what they look out uh, for more right, is the effort, the willingness to put in the effort to try your best, okay? This is the most likely two question. We're going to answer some most likely two questions about the other guy dancers. Okay, so first one, most likely to be late for practice. Ng Jia Le. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to say Jia Le. I think it's gonna be Tia Le. The next one, most likely to give 200% for PT. We all know the answer is me because you know I love PT. I think we all know the answer to that, and that is Jun Yong. Hey Jun Yong. For the guy, I'm gonna have to say it will be Jun Yong. Okay, no jokes, jokes. Jun Yong, because you know, Jun Yong is really insanely fit, okay? Most likely to wear a dance costume in public. I have two guys to nominate for that, and that is firstly Sean, and second would be Tia Le as well. I'm gonna have to say it will be Sean, or Sean for this case because Sean is like a really like goofy guy. Okay, honestly, I think it's Eric. Okay, this one I would have to say either Ewan or Eric because I feel like they would do it on a dare. Uh, fourth one, most likely to be successfully doing a split. So I'm gonna have to say Ezekiel. Ezekiel or Sean? I would say it's Sean. Ezekiel, one of our most flexible guys. Last but not least, most likely to follow the girl styling. We have one guy who always loves doing the girl styling, and that's you, Jensen. And that's definitely going to be Jensen. Jensen, who strangely enough is actually very good at it. Okay, I'm going to have to say it's... If I had to say myself, I would say me. If anything we said today has caught your attention, and you're an incoming SMU student, we'll put a link to our general interest forms down below. Do sign up, and we'll reach out to you. So yeah, don't hesitate to join us and I'm sure you guys will end up loving it. If you're interested to find out more about Kadera's Latinas, you can actually find us on our Instagram page which will be listed down below. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like or comment and we'll reply to any questions you all might have in the comment section. Thanks for watching and this has been... And this has been... This has been... And this has been... Say less!